11, 11 minutes after 6 o'clock. Buford J. Clodhopper, here we go. Last chance we'll get to talk to Buford before Christmas. How are you today, Buford? I'm doing good. I'm getting ready to jingle them bells and deck them halls, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, I bet you are. I bet you yeah. are. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's time for that annual Clodhopper Christmas Corner here, the Buford Annual Christmas Poem. Oh, the Buford Annual Christmas Poem. We're very excited about that here at the radio station. Yeah, you ready for me to lay that on you? Why don't you do that there, Buford? Go ahead. All right, here we go. It was the night before Christmas, and I was alone in the store. But shopping was almost over. I only had to get one gift more. A Barbie doll for my niece was what I had in mind. But which one should I get? They had Barbies of every kind. They had Barbies that were short and Barbies that were tall. They had Barbies dressed for winter or summer, spring, and fall. They had some rodeo clown Barbies that looked just like Ronald McDonald. And some all-you-can-eat buffet Barbies as big as Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> there was a millionaire Barbie with furs and cars and diamond rings. They even had a divorce Barbie that had all that plus Ken sayings. <laughs> there, was, <laughs> there was a ventriloquist Barbie, complete with a dummy in a trunk. And even a sport reporter Barbie with pictures of Brett Favre's junk. <laughs> <laughs> I had an at-the-beach Barbie in a little strange bikini, and a gender-confused barbecue Barbie at a grill roasting her weenie. <laughs> so I'd give up on toy Barbies. I'd been in that store way too long, and went and got myself a real-life dancing Barbie that cost me $20 a song. <laughs> horrifying. <laughs> Simply <All right>. horrifying. <laughs> I tell you what, your barbies are scary. Listen, Merry Christmas (laughs) to everybody, all right? Have a good day today and a good Christmas tomorrow. (laughs)